Frank, Frank Bogeman from, from the Netherlands, Rotterdam, big harbor, making climbing holds already for 30 years now, I think. Yeah, started in 91, poured the first hold, made it, poured it, climbed on it, and in the business ever since. It's, it's never been better, I think. Yeah. Today, today I was uh, actually touching the new Series 21 range, uh, climbing on it for the first time, um, here in the, in the new Sharma gym, and it's a new line of really small edges, 50 pieces, the first seven or maybe it's nine sets, I don't know. And they felt good, they felt good, yeah, yeah. even a little bit better than I expected. We, uh, we set a slightly overhanging boulder problem with them and it's always really difficult to know on what angle you use the good holds, the bad holds and, and it is new, so no, I was posi positively surprised. <laughs> now there, there is a little bit of a basic idea behind this set. It's, uh, it, they're all edgy, very, very small to comfortable one digit, not, not bigger. And your fingers are always going to be pulled towards the edge of the hold. It's never going to be like you're having a hold and your fingertips are in between the corner of the hold and the, and the wall. It really needs to be like, like this. You take it and you're going to really be up front. It's more difficult. You're not going to able to squeeze your skin between the edge of the hold and the wall. And uh, if you have this, it's it's just really only the edge that's that's climbable, and so it's a bit much. So it's very special, not for for any grade, but we'll see. We'll see what root setters can do with it. Uh, they always amaze me. They uh, root setters are always better than we think they are. So it's uh, it's good. like they're gonna be a lot slopier than yeah, they actually are so yeah. it's a good surprise <laughs> and okay, especially the one on the on, on the right hand yeah it's quite in good yeah it's quite in good. How good is this one? It's slightly positive. Okay. But it's from low on, so it, mm -hmm. it's maybe strange to, to catch it. We could also add one edge. So you can take two hands there. When you cross over, take a little here, so you can move a little bit more easily to the, to the, to the left. It's slightly tempting to, to match. You go big move. Mm. You can stand on the... Uh, with the yeah. That's good. Yeah. Try. range now, uh, some footholds, small, only screw-ons, uh, then it goes to a little edge-like shape, maybe 10 to 12 centimeters, and, uh, and every small range has very positive, but small, 
or a little bit more slopey edge and they could be a little bit wider maybe one digit and then it slowly grows up to yeah we call it a, a blister size hold and those are up to about 30 centimeters so it, and maybe we think about a macro small macro line but we're thinking about it yeah but it's it's basically never really positive it, it never is super in cut so after i think on a 40 degree roll i don't know it's, it's useless <laughs> yeah. you can always use it on a 40 degree roll but you need a volume so and then you have the same angle you have on a 20 degree roll so you need a little bit of a, a wall angle adjuster uh, that's how i call them use small volumes that you can use the same hold on different wall angles in the in the same direction because if i shape this in such a big range that you have, can use it in, in almost 90 or 80 degree overhang then it's just it's a waste of, of money and also for the customer because it's going to be really in cut strangely to hold on a vertical wall and now this hold is very useful on a slab up to 30 degrees and after that you need to adjust it a little bit and 90 percent of the bouldering or climbing is is not 40 degree overhanging or more I think it's it's important to uh, to also then talk about the material as well because you can taper it uh, as as thin as you want, but then you need to go to polyurethane and 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 access this from PE, the polyester brand. It it, it it it's it lasts long. It's nice, but it's a little bit brittle on the edges. So we tapered it, and then always at the end we we just uh, round it off a little bit. So in use, it's still good it's still good and you need to be careful when you're on a slab and you use it there is always a possibility to to adjust your body position with the top it's just it's a minor default on, on, on the design but when we when we don't do it then there's going to be a little chip afterwards and you also can do that and it looks not so good so that, that, that's that's the reason and the the grip size needs a little bit of a tapered hold that's the that, that's that's it